Hello again, and thanks for continuing with this video series on Area of a Triangle. In this video, we will look at Part 3, Area of a Slanted Triangle. Previously on Area of a Triangle, we saw this triangle ABC, and we saw the base and the height of the triangle. Then we noticed that the area of triangle ABC is half of the area of the related rectangle BCDE. Then we found the area of triangle ABC to be equal to half times 3 centimeters times 4 centimeters, which is equal to 6 square centimeters. And using the base and the height of the triangle, we also discovered that the area of the triangle is equal to half times the base times the height of the triangle. Now we are going to change triangle ABC again. What will we change it to this time? Let's see. First, we extend the line ED out like this. And then... And then we move point A out like this, but BC still stays the same. So, is the area of the new triangle ABC still half of the area of rectangle BCDE? Let's find out. Du -du -du -du. First, draw a line through the middle of rectangle BCDE like this. This splits the rectangle BCDE into two equal parts. Then we divide this part of triangle ABC into two smaller triangles. Now let's watch the animation to see what happens to these two smaller triangles. Wow, we have moved the two smaller triangles to fit in the lower half of rectangle BCDE. So, we can answer our question. Yes, the area of the new triangle ABC is still half of the area of rectangle BCDE. So, the area of new, the new triangle ABC is still equal to half times 3 cm times 4 cm, which is still equal to 6 square cm. Just like the triangle before, this common side BC that triangle ABC shares with the related rectangle BCDE is known as the base of the triangle ABC. The other side of the related rectangle BE is known as the height of the triangle. So we still have our formula. The area of the triangle is equal to half times the base times the height of the triangle. Usually in the question, the height of the triangle will not be shown like this. Instead, it will be shown like this. So it will be shown as a line from the vertex A down to the line that comes out from the base BC of the triangle. So AF is also the height of the triangle. And AF is equal to 4 cm as well. So, the area of the triangle is still equal to half times base times height. Let's look at an example question. In this diagram, we have triangle GHJ. The measurements are as shown in the diagram. The question asks us to find the area of triangle GHJ. Can you see the right angle in the question? KJ is perpendicular to GHK or GK. So we are going to use this as the height of the triangle. And we will draw our related rectangle like this. So GH is the base of the triangle. And KJ is the height of the triangle. If you cannot see, 
we can shift it up like this. So you can see that the height of the triangle is 20 meters. So the area of triangle GHJ is equal to half times base times height, which is equal to half times 6 meters times 20 meters. And we get 60 square meters as the answer.